Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. But just by making it a little bit more even and removing some of the undergrowth here, it is going to make life a little bit easier to get to these trees. Uh, that one doesn't really need a great deal of stuff. Uh, that one I'm gonna. That one I don't need to do anything to. And then, well, see the thing is, this one's got to come up around here. So what I was thinking of doing was bringing the field along the top here, and then down here along the edge of this, rather than sort of coming back round down here uh, around that bit of field and in this bit, just kind of ignoring that and and coming down here like this. So I might get rid of that tree there, just to make the edge of the field a little bit easier. And I might also just get rid of that bit right there, just to make that a little bit easier. Now we can come back over here, and we can start working our way through some more of these. We're probably going to have to do some creative work with... Um, landscaping again in order to get the rest of these tree stumps out because I don't think we're going to get all of the tree stumps out also need to turn you up a little bit there we go right I put that one onto there where are we going to it's going to have to go in a bit there we go right take that one down like that and lower it all the way down okay uh well, that's convenient, isn't it? It's it's already lowered all the way down. That's as low as that's, that's as low as this one can go, and we don't have with this one. You don't have an option for lowering it down any further, which does kind of make life a little bit difficult here in places. All right, go forward a bit. Take that one out there. Is that all of it? That might actually be all of it. We might be in luck there. We may have gotten the whole thing. Kind of hoping that we have. Now I'm going to bring this one over here. Take that bit. Heard the chainsaw. Okay, chainsaw's worked. Now we can go into the stumps. You can take all of you out. No. Oh, oh, we might get it. We might get it. We're, we're another little bit. Once we go back through and we do a little bit more sort of um, cleaning up of the, the various different bits. Right, that one I want to lift up now like that. Yeah, once we come bring... You know what? I'm going to have to just take that one out and chainsaw. So I don't have a chainsaw. So let's, let's go and buy a chainsaw for a start. We'll go into here and... Oh, there. Right. Uh, we go for Yonsard over here. Is it Yonsard or John? I, I'm assuming Yonsard. That's, that's, that's the assumption. I'm, I'm making an assumption. You should never make assumptions. Never, ever make assumptions. He says as he makes an assumption. And uh, i bring that one down there like that. Right, that'll probably do. If I chop that one through there, then it should go into the stump grinder without any problems. And... There we go. Right. Okay, it's definitely gone into the stump grinder without any problems. And then we can start working on removing the stump itself. Lower that down. That's actually all gone completely from there, so we don't need to worry about that. I can come up to the top and get this one up here. This tree is remarkable for its ability to sort of scramble over absolutely everything. Let's bring that... Oop. Back that one out, and in we go again. Alright, just got interrupted there a bit. I've taken out another one up there. Just going to cut into this next one down here. Uh, am I going to be able to cut into this one? Some of these are not very easy to get. See, I can, I can do the, um, the, the stump grinding bit, but it doesn't necessarily like the other bit very much. You bring it from this side. There we go. Right. If I bring you in here. Huh. I don't I, I, I don't want to be all the way up there. See, it's it's being very strange. Ah, there we go. Maybe if I can lower down like that. Is it gonna let me? 
I know what we I know what I gotta do. There. Right, hold on to it right there and pull that one through, and then I'm hoping I can go and chop the rest of that stump off without any problems. Let's jump into here. Tree will fall over and probably get picked up by the stump grinder pretty quickly, because this stump grinder is highly efficient like that. And then lower it. No, it's it's now not going to work. This is this is not very helpful. And I I need I, I need you to ah there stump. Right, I, I need you to work on that stump there. If you can take that one out right there, that would be absolutely fantastic of you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. I know that that wasn't easy for you. I'm going to bring you back over here, and I'm going to dump some wood chips in a pile right there. I'm going to climb up over the pile of wood chips like that, and I'm going to dump out another pile of wood chips like that. There we go. Right. We've now gotten rid of some more wood chips, and then I've got one more tree. Actually, it's two more trees. Three more trees. Well, what, what, one or two. Some more trees some more let's bring you up round this way lower you down and bring that one in there there we go it always changes tone just as it removes the stump doesn't it and we want to get this one here as well no more than this one this is going to be the final tree over this side because those over there, like that road right there is placeable road, so we can't do anything with that. Let me lift that one up. I'm just going to turn you off there a minute. And is that one... It's not coming out with straw, is it? Are you loaded up? Or have, have we, like, filled up the yard with straw already? Surely we can't have. We have! Silo capacity, 480,000. Right. Okay, well, you know what that means. That means that we will just keep an eye on this one. We will sit on this one while we go. But we're going to have to go back into here. We're going to have to go to silos. And we have to go to the ones that we want. So we've got... It's not that one. That only takes 100,000. We're going to want a big extension. So we've got the farm silo multi-fruits. Or you've got the standard. That's the silo extension standard multi fruits extension it still only extends by a quarter of a million i thought that it was higher than that but it's not um 240,000 extra that one is so we'll bring this one in over here and we've either got to put something here somewhere in the yard in here which is just going to be in the way. We haven't really got room to put this down over here. Oh, the one thing that I did do in the video was I put down a load of bee houses. And now I haven't got the bee houses. Which is why I do have some spare money at the moment to go and put down some more silos. So we will go and put bee houses back again. So I'm going to put this one over here like this. Oh, I don't have enough money. All right. Well, I've I've gone and I, I've I've at least increased it by an extra two hundred and forty thousand. Then I'm going to go into miscellaneous over here, and we're going to go to that bee house that we put down. Where are they? Where are those bee houses? There is the bee house. I'm not going to be able to put as many of these in. I don't have the money. But we will put one bee house there, and we will put another bee house in right next to it like this i'm going to put a, a few of these like a little line of them along here uh another one right there and i got room for one more i have the cash for one more there so we've got four bee houses at the moment we'll get some more we will go for some more bee houses and then once we've got the extra bee houses we can you know it's it's going to generate some more money but i guess it's kind of a good thing i didn't because I didn't realise that we were, like, low on um, storage space. That's... So it's, it's good that we found this out. It's, it's very, very good that we found this out. Now, you should not be going this slow. So turn speed. I want to up that one. We'll go to 
12 miles an hour on here and then reversing speed can go up to six like that and and i'll get rid of that and then i'll go into here and i will change that one right there to kilometers and that one to euros and we will come back out of there so now we're doing 10k it's still going very very slow i was hoping it would go a little bit quicker than that but it's, it's going to come out here onto the road and then he should speed up a bit and get back to the yard and hopefully it will actually tip out if i look into here it's saying 720,000 now on there you're still going ridiculously slow and I'm not quite sure why. I've not it's, it's not done that before. That seems a little bit odd. It's still going slow. No not not quite sure why, but anyway, what we have got is that it has reached the tip trigger, so it should now be able to dump out 90,000 liters of straw into our large storage without any problems whatsoever i'm really glad that i noticed that because otherwise we could have run into a spot of bother there so we now we got seven hundred and twenty thousand liters of storage i'm thinking that we do want to increase that we want that to go higher uh but we're going to need to buy additional storage and we're going to need to put it we'll, we'll be putting it out in the field over there or something like that i would think that that would probably be the best bet for it uh, i've only got eight thousand left in order to be able to do the bits that I want to do on the field over here. And... The, you know, there isn't actually anything else that we want to do at the moment. We've got some landscaping to do on this here. So we have got some stuff that we need to move around a bit out over this side. I will actually remove this tree right here. And the new grass field that we've got up the top... Oh, yeah, you are going to let me cut. You know, we've gone and planted that field. I'm wondering if we're actually going to be able to do a cut on that field. Or if, well, not so much as are we going to be able to. It's more are we going to need to. Because we've got quite a bit of stuff in storage already. And we've got loads of TMR over there. And we've only got one more season that we need to do. So it seems that... Despite it being a good idea to get up there and do some work, it might be better if we don't. We leave that and we come back to that another time. Uh, well, we, we, we won't actually come back to that at all, will we? Not not really. Um, we, we just don't end up coming back. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that one. Because if we're doing this great big field, which is going to come around there, it's going to take out all of that bit, and it's going to come all the way along here. We are going to include that one, probably not this field because of that bit. So it's going to come in around here. That is going to be a huge field. Like That is a really, really big field. So I'm kind of thinking that we don't need to have a second field up here and like taking in all of this bit. I don't think we really need to do that. That's, that's not something that's going to affect our whole massive great big field that we're going to do up this way. And I was also possibly not going to do that one. But the more I think about it, the more I do actually like the idea sort of coming up along here, up round that way. And then back up over this way and sort of down in here. I don't want to go all the way over there to field four. That does seem maybe a little bit excessive. At the same time, there is always the possibility that we could go and do... No, I don't... No, we won't. We, we will draw the line at going all the way over there. But we may go up and take those two in as well, rather than just these two. I, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But that one, we won't. This, this one here, I want to do. I want to include that one. Uh, probably not those. Because remember, we've got to combine it. That's going to be a difficult bit, is actually combining the field. Like The rest of the work is going to be easy, but getting the combine working on the field, that is going to be a bit more of a challenge. There's going to be a bit more to it when we, we come to do the combining. So I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to go back over to you. You've got another full load now, so I think the rest of the straw in this field doesn't matter. So I'm going to speed up to 120 times speed, and we're going to start letting things run through. I'm going to go, wait, I said control S. 
No. Alt S. Alt S to go into this. I thought it was Control S. No, that's um, that's the other one. Uh, that's GPS. That is. Right. So we want to have a look in the animals in here. Chickens, are absolutely fine. We've got everything that we need. I'm not going to worry about chickens or selling. We have got a bit that we might want to go and do. I could put some more total mixed ration in for them. Pigs, they've got plenty of food. So we could go and put a little bit of total mixed ration in for the. Um, cows then the other thing is what are eggs doing at the moment price wise how are we doing we've got four and a half thousand over there grain elevator east so we could take the pallet of eggs that we've got to grain elevator east i'm gonna leave you sat right there i'm not gonna worry about you it's Time is ticking on right now, so I'm, I'm thinking that we won't go to Grain Elevator East just yet. I will have you and clean you off. This combine's going to be clean. The other one is not. The other one is, like, outside of the farm area. Unless I take off the header and just do it like that, the, this, this combine is the only one that's going to be washed. Or I could put down another pressure washer out there because we don't have a trailer for the other combine. Maybe we don't have a trailer for the other combine header. And I was hoping to do all of it with this one. And what I'm actually thinking is that we don't use course play to do this massive great big field. Instead, what we do is we use the uh, AI vehicle extension because that does work really well. Right, we could use the AI vehicle extension to go right round the entire field. It would get round that field. I think, well, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it would. I won't do any more TMR now. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to let that tractor carry on doing the work that it's doing. We'll see if it works okay overnight. Uh, we should be all right for the animals. We're down into negative numbers. But you can see the money coming back up now. Every hour as it goes by, that's the beehives are earning us a little bit of income there and just sort of offsetting our other costs, which I think is absolutely wonderful. He's still going. And he's gonna he's he's just gonna keep going. He's he's gonna be fine. And I wanna go to Uh you can stay there actually. Just wondering what vehicle I wanna use. The, the, I've got this you know what? I'm gonna take this combine, I'm gonna move it out of here. Let's let's fold this one back up again. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna go and just dump it out in the field rather than leaving it in this shed here, and then it's completely out of the way. And it can do its folding and unfolding and, and weird things that it wants to do. And we don't need to worry about it at all. We're probably going to want this combine a tomorrow, actually. Uh, so that we can do our next harvest, which is going to be one of them. If we want both combines, then we'll go and get another one of the corn headers to do it. Let's have a look in here for a minute. Uh, growth. It is growth that we want. Yeah, so it's, it's not ready yet, but hopefully it will be tomorrow and then we can do both of them at the same time. So we have both the combines running. As for emptying them out, I'm thinking we'll probably just do that automatically. Let's have a look here a second. How are we doing? Yeah, you're still doing all right and you're still doing all right. Okay, let's, let's get a tractor, not you. No, no, no. I don't, want, I, I don't want any of these. Oh, actually, yeah. You're the one that I want. I'm going to... No, I don't want to unhitch that there. I want to switch over to that one. And we'll leave that one right there like that. And then we're going to come back through this way. So, look. Our money is now gone up to positive money. We, we've already reached positive money. I'm going to keep the time ticking through. I've got that plowed put away. That does need, that needs, well, except that we're going to be wanting to do an awful lot of ploughing fairly soon, aren't we? So maybe I won't leave that. Uh, I, I won't leave, I won't put that one away. I'll leave that one out where he is for a minute. I want to come on round this way here. I've got to make sure that I don't go driving anything in the way of the other tractor that is busy working. You know, it's, it's, it's still doing its job. It's still doing the straw. Should come down and empty out the last little bit, just as it finishes off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one up to here. We've got select large square bales. 
1.3 mission pallets egg boxes right there so the first thing that i want to do is i actually want to slow time down so i'm going to take us up until five o'clock zerion has reached the trigger end point so i'll leave the zerion exactly where it is for a second and we will let time actually you know what while time is ticking a little bit i can jump through to the zerion not you it's this one over here like that and then if i go like that and then i go here and then continue i think what that does is it sends it off to go to the stop at last point or at next trigger what are you continuing hoping that it's going to go and find the edge of the course huh. clear the current courses go to that one over there we're on field 7 so I'm going to go field 7 straw tip like that uh, start course at first waypoint drive course it should just go down to the beginning of the course, tip it out, and then come back again. Except that it's going to go in a straight line to it. Which I don't want it to do. That's not very convenient, is it? Right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that perhaps we stop the driver there. And I'm thinking that perhaps this isn't going to work. Well, it could work, actually. All i got to do is i I just got to make sure I move that one out of the way. I've, I need to... No more space for chickens. Uh, for, for eggs, sorry. Right, so I'll bring that one over to there. We will run it in automatically. I will do some auto... Not auto magically. We will run it in ourselves. So I'm just going to race this one in through here and into the yard. We've... As I've already got enough hay and stuff to see us through, not going to worry about doing any hay. I'm going to um, focus our attention now. I'm going to unload that one right there. I'm going to focus our attention on getting the big field sort of bought and set up. We do need, we do want to do the harvest. We are going to do this harvest. That needs to be done so that we can say that we've finished doing the second year. So we've done two years of the full cycle all the way through. So that one can go over to there and stop right there. That's done. Then I want to go, you can stay there a minute. I want to go this way to that one right there. We will go like this. I want to take... F1 load egg boxes, so we will turn that one on there. And I bring that one forward, so it's going to load those egg boxes. And then I want to go in this way, so that it... It's not going to It's not going to reach that one egg. There's only one egg box there that I want to reach. We bring that one right in tight like that and reach that egg box. There we go. Okay, so I've got the egg box. Then I can stop the loading like that. I can unload onto the trailer like that. Then I can switch that one to cotton modules pallets like that. Work mode on like that. This is probably going to explode everywhere when I unload this, but it's going to be worth the risk. So I will do unload right there. It sort of exploded, but not as not anywhere near as bad as I thought it might. Right, so I will grab a couple more of the egg... Uh, I'll drop the egg boxes up onto the trailer like that. So if I just bring them back over here and we'll dump those up onto there like that. Then we can jump into here. We can put straps on like that, hold them into place. We need to very quickly get to wherever we're going to sell these eggs. Uh, uh, 6794, Port Southeast. Port Southeast is definitely the one at 4794. Where is that? Port Southeast, Northwest. Port Southeast is in the corner of the village over there, the corner of the town. We've got a reasonable speed on this tractor and um, this trailer. It should be all right. So we'll bring you in like this, and we'll go straight out here. 
And I was just wondering if I should just, you know, ignore and, and cut straight across country. I'm going to sort of do a little bit of cutting across country. Just across there. Then we will get onto the road. So we'll go racing up the road here. I'll even put the beacons on. Even have the beacons running as we go up the road up through here. So we can slow down and get around this corner over here. And back up the full speed. I want to get this pallet back to the eggs before they start generating eggs again. I'm actually seriously considering now just selling the chickens. Sell the chicken pen. Sell all of the chickens. Sell the whole lot there and not worry about chickens in the slightest. It would be a lot easier for us. Just for the rest of the winter, not to have to... I mean, we don't actually have to worry about very much with the chickens. Because everything's automated except for putting out the grain. And that in itself, it doesn't take a great deal to do, does it? Now, which one is Port Southie? I think it's the... It's there. We've got wood there. Port Southeast, grain elevator east. So it's this one in here that we want to go to. There it is. It's that one. That one right there. This this is the one that we want. So we're going to stop there. And I'm going to take those straps off like that. And then we're going to ease ourselves onto the way bridge here. Or the, the, the cell point way bridge, whatever you want to call it. And seriously, I got another I got another box on there. I got one. This one, look. You You're not you're not gonna take that one? I've I brought this over specially. Why? Why won't you take it? Ah, there. Okay. I have no idea why it didn't like that one, but it didn't like that one. But we've, we've now done it. So we've got uh, 49,000. We we ended up... Oops, I can't go around that way. Um, we ended up with about, what was it, $48,500 from there. That's that's not too bad. Didn't mean to hit that bit. That, that definitely wasn't supposed to happen. 48,000 euros from selling the eggs. That's that's pretty reasonable amount of money coming in from the egg sales right there. Now, I can whiz up this way and then back across the bridge. We'll go and head home as quickly as we can. And we will put this pallet back next to the chickens. I, I won't worry about selling them. We'll just dump the pallet next to them. And then we've got the eggs that are being produced. That They're going straight into this pallet. And then we don't need to concern ourselves with them in the slightest. And in the morning, we should be able to start doing both the sunflower and the corn harvest together. At least that's what I'm hoping. I have had it before. The sunflowers come ripe and the corn waits for another um, growth period. So we might end up having to wait just a little bit longer to be able to harvest the corn. I'm hoping that's not the case. But we just need to be prepared for it, that's all. So, so long as we're prepared and we're ready and we're sort of half expecting it, it's not going to come as a, a sharp surprise for us that we can't do exactly what we want to do. I knew there would be another one there. Knew there would be a box there. Right, you go to that point and then we load you on there. And then I stop that one from loading and then I do that over there. And they bring that in. So I'm right over tight onto that side. It should unload right into the middle in there. Oops, I don't want straps on. I want there like that. That wasn't quite according to plan. Let me nudge you back in a bit. Let me nudge you back in a little bit more. There we go. That's all I want to do. Just get that one over to there. Okay, we've got that bit all in place. That is good enough for me. It's, it's not quite a hundred. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.